Hey, this is Pat with Newport Vessels. We're going to talk about today air leaks and how to quickly find them and then easily fix them so you can get back out on the water. 95% of inflatable boat air loss cases can be attributed to air valves. So we're going to tell you how to find the problem and exactly how to fix it. And most of the time, it's really simple. We're going to use the Newport Vessels Air Floor because it's a good model. It's made of the same materials, with the same construction method, and it uses the same valves as all of the Newport Vessels boat. So the first thing we're going to do is fully inflate your boat or your floor, whichever you're checking. Fully inflate it, and we're going to do the hear test first, or the hearing test. You're literally going to put your ear up close to it and see if you can hear anything, even the faintest of noises. That's the first check you're going to want to do. All right, even if you heard some air leaking, you're still going to want to do this next step because you want to know exactly where it is you want to isolate the air leak. And what you're going to do is grab a spray bottle, Fill it with soap and water, the more soap the better. And we're gonna put the cap on and we're gonna spray down the whole thing. All right, and what we're really looking for with the bubbles is to see exactly where they're coming from. If the bubbles are coming from the outside, this means that the fitting or the cap is not fully tightened or it's not oriented correctly. If the air bubbles are coming from the inside right here, this means that there's gonna be a problem with the actual valve itself and the spring loading mechanism here. Both are easily fixed. To undo your valve, you're going to need to use your valve wrench, which comes, which comes in your repair kit. If you've either lost yours or you can't find yours, um, go ahead and contact us if we can get you one. But you're going to use it just like a wrench. First, you're going to fully deflate your boat. You use it just like a wrench, turn it to the left, and you're going to fully unscrew it and take off the valve. So you're going to want to fully remove the valve. And you're going to want to get a wet paper towel and clean all of the sides, the top, and especially the rubber washer right in here. Also with a paper towel and some soap and water, you want to clean on the excess, the top um, border of the valve, as well as the inside threads of the valve in here. Everything, the valve and the inside valve has been thoroughly cleaned. Use detail here because it's very important. You're going to want to line up the inside valve exactly with the outside tube. And then you're going to want to put the thread, threading of the cap back on. And then we're going to use our valve wrench, again, to tighten. And then you're going to pump up your boat, and you're going to check for your air leaks again, do the hearing test, and then do the water and soap test, looking for bubbles. The last steps that we just did are going to solve the majority of cases. If your boat is still leaking, and you still see bubbles coming from here, you're going to have to contact us and request a new valve be shipped to you. Uh, we can get that out to you, and you're going to repeat the steps that we've already gone over, and that's going to do the trick for you. If you're still experiencing air loss with your boat, and you've done, you fully inflated the boat, and you've done the hearing test on every valve, and you've done the soap test on all of the valves, and you haven't found any bubbles, the next thing we're going to do is check all of the seams. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our spray bottle again, we're going to fully inflate the boat, and you're going to use be very thorough, use a lot of it, spray all over the tube that's losing air, Spray all over it, all over the seams, and thoroughly view and find the bubbles because that's where the leak is going to be coming from. If you do locate a leak in one of the seams and you find the bubbles from it, you're going to want to view the seam leak repair instructions. There's a video on NewportVessels.com about us.